Okay, more ways to get links to your website. Competitor backlinks. Um, there are ways that you can actually analyse what links are linking to your competitor and how to actually go about um, contacting them and getting them to link to you. Linking is essential, you know. You know linking, you know, when it was brought in uh, by Google as a measuring tool in terms of website popularity, you know, became the most important aspect of search engine optimization and, and still is, you know, as long as you're getting links from relative, you know, relevant websites. Now, it's just like a voting system. You know, one link that's relevant from another website is like a positive um, vote for your website. Now, obviously, it depends on the, the value of different websites. If you're getting votes from websites that have been around for years, um, like five, six, seven, eight years, um, that are of, of really trusted domains, quite a few domains are trusted, like um, um, .ac.uk, .edu. Um, your educational establishments are more likely possibly to be trusted websites, and you can get links from different trusted sources, um, then search engines are going to think, well, you must be a trusted source as well. So these are different sources for links, you know, competitors, backlinks, respected institutions, testimonials. Testimonials are fantastic ways of, of, of getting links to your site, actually. We'll cover that in a second. And also search Google for other people who are likely to give you links. And I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, having a look at competitors' backlinks. So again, let's have a look at this website, buildyourownbusiness.biz. Now at the moment, doing very well in search engines for the phrase business articles. It's number one uh, when you search Google for the phrase business articles. But let's have a look at some of the other websites that also feature highly for that phrase business articles. And one of them, the second website here is businessweek.com. So, having a look at the Business Week website, what we do is we use this Google toolbar and we have a look at the page rank. And just on the right hand side of the page rank tool, there's an option, a little drop down arrow, and an option that says backward links. Now, if you click on that, it shows you all the links that actually link to that web page that's linking there. Um, I tell a lie. It doesn't show you all the links. It, uh, it shows some of the links, actually. Google only shows some of the links. Um, but it, it shows you a good few links that actually points to your uh, competitor. So, but there's a problem here. Looking at it more closely, you can actually see all the links that point to them are from their own website. So that's no good. But what you can do uh, is actually add this little piece of code to your search for the backward links. So if you add minus domain, colon, whatever the domain name is, to the backlink search, so in other words, up here, in, 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 as well as actually including link, colon, whatever the website address is, to actually establish what the backward links are to that website address, you're also including this minus domain, colon, the domain name. Then if you search for that, as detailed here, then you'll find that there's no links at all that point to that website address. So how can that be? Um, it's because I'm after a very specific URL. And this URL, businessweek.com slash sr slash index.htm, there are no other websites that point to that specific URL. So again, I have to amend this slightly. So I'm going to take off slash sr slash index.htm. And I'm just going to find out what links point to that website address without that um, extra URL stuff at the end, but also not from their own website, just from other sites. So let's do that search. And here we go. We find that there are 371 other websites from completely different URLs that point to that domain. And that's where you go about finding um, which links point to your competitors. Now you can actually go in and see the links, see where the links occurred exactly, and actually establish, well, um, did it occur, you know, maybe as part of a blog, or was it because actually they were recommending that website for some reason, and how can you go about getting your own link on them? You'll have a much ch a better chance of actually getting links on other websites when you know why they're actually linking to your competitors. You know, maybe it's part of a recommended list, maybe there's something you can do to get on that list. So you can also actually do exactly the same search. See link colon HTTP, you know, searching for um, the links that link to businessweek.com. 
that don't contain the URL businessweek.com. So search in Yahoo for that. And Yahoo say there are 319,000 links that link to them there as well. So vast difference, you know, but giving you loads of decent sources that actually link to that website. And you can do exactly the same on MSN's live search as well. Okay, so the secret, though, to actually contacting them, getting links to link to you is... um, Ideally, you're going to be emailing them and maybe actually contacting someone directly who's responsible for getting links on a website, you know. But what you want to do is obviously be, sinc- be sincere about it. Don't just say, hey, would you, will you link to me? You know, here's my linking code. You need to actually say, look, you know, I was on this web page and I've really found it valuable because of this, you know. I think that it may be worthwhile you linking to my site here as well because it offers X for your readers as well. Would you consider linking to me, you know? If, if you're that personal about it, you know, people will turn around and link to you as well. The only reason that people won't turn around and link to you if you think you're, uh, you're fairly spammy in nature and just say, hey, will you link to me, you know? Be, be sincere, you know, have a good look at their website and why it would be relevant for them to link to you first of all.